Hello students, let's continue our journey through Comparing quantities Today we are going to a new topic That is, simple interest Have you ever visited a bank? Yes Most of our parents also have an account there One day, Rohit went to a bank with his mother she had some money to deposit in the bank. She deposited rupees 50,000 for two years. After two years, they were going to the bank for withdrawing the money. The cashier gave rupees 55,000 to them. Then Rohit has a doubt. How did it happen? Can you say how it happens? Yes, we can. They deposited only 50,000 rupees. But they received 55,000. That is, they got an additional amount. 5,000 rupees. The additional amount thus we get or paid is called the interest. Interest is the additional amount we get when we deposit money, or the additional price we pay to borrow money. But how can we calculate the interest? Let's try to understand by doing a problem. A man borrowed 20,000 rupees at the rate of interest of 10% per annum for two years. Find the simple interest on this sum and the amount to be paid at the end of two years. We have the borrowed amount, we consider it as principal or P, which equals 20,000 rupees. The percentage of interest he has to pay is taken as the rate of interest, that is R equals 10%. And let's take the number of years he has to pay as N equals two years. At first, we will calculate the interest for one year. Given the rate of interest is 10%, that is for 100 rupees, the interest is 10 rupees. Then for 20,000 rupees, the interest is 20,000 rupees multiplied by 10 divided by 100 equals 2,000 rupees. That is, the interest for the first year equals 20,000 multiplied by 10 divided by 100, which is equals to P multiplied by R by 100 equals 2,000 rupees. In the same way, we can calculate the interest for the second year. That is, interest for the second year is also PR divided by 100 is equal to 20,000 multiplied by 10 divided by 100 equals 2000 rupees therefore the simple interest for two years equals 2000 plus 2000 equals 4000 next we have to know the amount to be paid at the end of two years that is equal to the sum of principal amount an interest of two years that is equal to 20,000 rupees plus 4,000 rupees equals 24,000 rupees. Therefore, at the end of two years, he has to pay 24,000 rupees. In the above problem, the interest after two years is two times the interest of the first year. That is 2 multiplied by PR by 100. Then, what will be the interest after 3 years? Of course, 3 times the interest of the first year. That is 3 multiplied by PR by 100. So, for n years, simple interest, SI equals n multiplied by PR divided by 100 equals PNR divided by 100 where P 
is the principal, and R is the rate of interest, and the number of years is N. Amount at the end of N years equals principal plus simple interest, that is A equals P plus SI. Let us do an example by using simple interest formula. A sum of 10,000 rupees is borrowed at the rate of 8% per annum for 9 months. Find the simple interest, an amount to be paid at the end of 9 months. We have principal P equals 10,000 rupees. Rate of interest R equals 8%. Number of years N equals 9 months equals 9 by 12 years equals 3 by 4 years we know that simple interest equals pnr divided by 100 equals 10000 rupees multiplied by 3 by 4 multiplied by 8 the whole divided by 100 equals 10,000 rupees multiplied by 3 multiplied by 8 whole divided by 100 multiplied by 4 equals 600 rupees therefore the amount to be paid at the end of 9 months is principal plus interest equals 10,000 rupees plus 600 rupees equals 10,600 rupees. Let's have a quick recap. Today we discussed the simple interest. An amount. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Ariel takes a loan of 30,000 rupees to buy a two-wheeler at the rate of 9% for two years, calculate the interest to be paid for the loan amount. That's all for now, see you all in the next class with another interesting topic.